It is Senior Day. At this time, we'd like to recognize the four seniors that are playing their final home game here at Royal Brown Pavilion. All right, here they are. Let's meet, first of all, number 10, Maui Z. And Maui is joined by his father, Jordy, and mother, Linda. Maui joined the Falcons in 2022 and has appeared in 47 games. He scored 321 points with the Falcons and eclipsed 1,000 collegiate points between his time here at Seattle Pacific and at Bellevue College. Maui has shot 48% from the field and 44% from three-point range. He's pulled down 122 rebounds and 162 assists. He's also a member of the 2023 GNAC All-Academic Team from Seattle, Washington, Roosevelt High School, and Bellevue College, number 10, Maui Z. Our second senior to honor here this afternoon, number 21, D.J. Clark. D.J. is joined by parents Dave and Ann, his grandparents Robbie and Pups, his uncles Jeff and Peter, his aunt Jenna, and cousins Ava and Ben. D.J. joined the Falcons in 2022 and has appeared in nine games. He's turned into a team favorite earning the respect and admiration of his teammates during the time with his Falcons. DJ says his favorite memories are meeting and traveling with his teammates, spending time off the court together, and hanging out at Quinn Commons. From Burlington, Washington, Burlington Edison High School, and Skagit Valley College, number 21, DJ Clark. Next up, number 22, Kobe Elsner. Always a crowd favorite, Kobe is joined by his parents, Mike and Chris, brothers Jordan and Brady, and girlfriend, Allie. Kobe joined the Falcons in 2022 and has appeared in 46 games. He scored 21 points, grabbed 20 rebounds, and has dished out 10 assists. Kobe says his favorite memories include traveling with the guys, playing games in the car, team meals and delivering and receiving notes to and from the team. From Linden, Washington, Linden High School, and the University of Puget Sound, number 22, Kobe Elster. And here he comes, number 24, Sha Anderson. Shaw is joined today by mom and stepdad, Teresa and Gordy, his dad and stepmom, Stephen Lindsay, his grandparents, Lena Grace and Carolyn Day, and his sister, Carly. Shaw is wrapping up one of the most decorated careers in SBU men's basketball history. He's appeared in and started in 112 games for the Falcons. He ranks second all-time in program history in scoring with 1,896 points and is just 52 points shy of Lauren Anderson's program record of 1,948 points. He's pulled down 492 rebounds, dished out 207 assists, had 57 block shots, and has now 53 steals. Shaw's accolades include a unanimous GNAC preseason all-conference team selection and GNAC preseason player of the year for GNAC Player of the Week awards. Our first team all-GNAC selection, D2 CCA West Region first team honors and NABC first team all-district honors from Kelso, Washington and Kelso High School, number 24, Shaw Anderson. All right, fans, let's hear it one more time. A round of applause for this year's graduating seniors. Number 10, Maui Z. Number 21, DJ Clark. Number 22, Kobe Elsner. And number 24, Shaw Anderson. Let him hear it.
And now, fans, if you would please rise and remove your hats for the singing today of our national anthem, performed by Ariana Fernandez. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fire for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome inside Royal Brougham Pavilion in Seattle, Washington. Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. We got a couple of good basketball games on tap for you. First of all, the men tip it off against the GNAC leading Montana State University Billings Yellow Jackets. We will have the women's basketball team coming up against Western Washington at 4.15 p.m., the scheduled start time for that one. The uh, Falcons, both the men's and women's teams, and we're not going to talk too much about the women's team on this broadcast, but uh, both teams in sixth place in the GNAC standings and both trying to get into the GNAC tournament, both taking on uh, very highly ranked opponents as uh, the Yellow Jackets of Montana State Billings uh, actually not in the poll, but receiving votes. They are they are leading the uh, GNAC though with a record of 13 and two in conference play, 19 and six overall, and uh, they will they'll actually be uh, able to clinch the uh, GNAC regular season title with a win today. And if they don't win today, they are uh, still in in first by. <laughs> three in the loss column, so they, it's just a matter of time before they do clinch that uh, number one seed in the GNAC tournament and the uh, conference regular season title. St. Martin's and Northwest Nazarene both 10-5 and five in conference play, MSU Billings 13-2, and two, so uh, they, they, they are going to uh, win the uh, GNAC regular season whether they uh, win this game or not. But... Uh, this is a matchup of first-year head coaches that were previously on uh, on the, the coaching staffs as an assistant uh, for MSU Billings. It's Luke Fennelly uh, stepping up, uh, taking over this year as the head coach. Uh, Anders Epperly is listed on their uh, coaching staff now, a former player, but I don't see him here. The Falcons, coached by Kefri Fazio, he's listed as an interim head coach. And we are getting ready to go here about five minutes early, as this one was scheduled for 2 p.m., but we are underway as Daniel Moody wins the tip for the, the uh, Yellow Jackets. And they have the first possession of the game. Falcons seniors honored before the game. A couple of them out there on the floor. There's 
Uh, Falcons able to get a hand on that one, but Steven Richardson gets to it and blows the lay-in. As that one popped off, off the, uh, the rim, and Maui Z, one of the seniors, being honored before the game, gets it to another one, Shaw Anderson. As uh, both of them, Maui Z just over 1,000 points in his career. Shaw Anderson is second all-time as Trace Evans can't connect on the lay-in there. Trying to uh, get it out from underneath the basket. And each team has missed a shot from in close. This is Richmond going to the bucket, and we get a whistle, and he's going to go to the free, uh, free throw line, I believe, here. Foul called on Trace Evans. That'll be his first. And it will send Zoran Richardson, uh, Zoran Richmond, rather. They have Steven Richardson in the lineup as well. Uh, Zoran Richmond, a senior from Billings, Montana, to the free throw line. He'll get a couple of shots here. And uh, Richmond actually started his college basketball career in 2017. Played three seasons. And, uh, of course, the, the, there was the COVID year in there. He's, he's struggled with injuries, though, and has uh, is now finishing up his career this year as he makes the first, misses the second, and it's out of bounds. And it's going to stay with the Yellow Jackets. The Falcons lose that one out of bounds. And... Billings will get it back. So Billings with their starting lineup featuring famous left hand out of Crow Agency, Montana. Jalen Tott, a junior from Dallas, Texas, the GNAC player of the week. Uh, Steven Richardson, a senior from Sacramento, California. I mentioned, uh, I believe I mentioned Jalen Tott is out of Dallas, Texas. His brother, his twin brother, uh, Jawan, is on the roster as well as uh, the Yellow Jackets lose it out of bounds. And the Falcons take over. Zoran Richards, uh, Richmond, out of Billings, Montana. And uh, Stephen Richardson, a uh, j senior out of Sacramento. Daniel Moody, a senior out of Tucson, Arizona. As this is Jaden Pentagar with a long two. And he puts the Falcons in front, two to one. As Jalen Tott, the uh, GNAC player of the week, coming the other way. And Billings. Looking for an opportunity to go back in front here on this possession. Moody gets to the bucket, lays it up and in. Got around Owen Moriarty. And uh, Moody with a size advantage on Moriarty for sure. Puts in the bucket and makes it a 3-2 lead for the Yellow Jackets. And now the Falcons with it. Falcons with the starting lineup featuring Owen Moriarty from Seattle. As this one taken away by Jalen Tott, uh, Trace Evans was trying to get it to Shaw Anderson in the post. Here's Moody coming down the lane with a floater, puts it up and in. Good adjustment in midair. And Moody sinks the floater from uh, about six feet out. And the Yellow Jackets with a 5-2 lead. Daniel Moody in his first year with the Yellow Jackets program having a solid season. As he transferred from uh, University of Texas Permian Basin. And I don't believe that was the first place he played at. Here is Anderson with the fadeaway jumper. Puts it up and in. Fought through a couple of defenders and then kind of went away from the bucket. But created some space for himself. Here's left hand. Getting it to Tot. Famous left hand, by the way. Not left handed. He is right handed. I was watching him shoot in uh, warm ups. There's Moody again. Scooping it up and in with the left hand. And Daniel Moody with buckets on the last three trips down the floor for the Yellow Jackets. He's got six points, and the Yellow Jackets lead it seven to four. Back to the Falcons starting lineup. Moriarty from Seattle, Jaden Pentagar, sophomore from Logan, Utah. Maui Zia Jr., uh, and actually they have him listed as a junior on the roster. There's Moriarty for a three from the corner, and we're tied up at seven. But uh, they did include Maui Z in the pregame uh, senior day festivities as uh, he did play two years at Bellevue College, two, two more here. They have him listed as a junior, so I would think that maybe he does actually have an extra year of eligibility, but uh, choosing to forgo that as here's Jalen Tott getting a shot up over Moriarty. It's no good, and we get a whistle on the rebound, and we'll get a foul called here, and this is going to go on Trace Evans, and quickly he has two. 
with uh, not quite four minutes gone by in this one. Mentioned Maui Z, Trace Evans checking out now, a sophomore out of New South Wales, Australia. And Shaw Anderson, senior from Kelso, Washington, who will go down as one of the all-time greats in SPU program history. And is looking for the all-time scoring record. He's 52 points short and has three games to get there. As we get to a timeout on the floor here, 16 minutes to go, first half. 7-7 seven, seven your score, and uh, Lutonen called for a foul after checking in for Evans. And uh, that'll take us to a timeout. We'll be right back on the SPU webcast. 7-7 seven, seven your score. inside Royal Brown Pavilion. Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. 16 minutes even to play here in the first half and we're tied at 7. Big game for the Falcons. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, the Yellow Jackets looking to clinch the GNAC regular season title, but the Falcons in 6 currently in the GNAC standings and the top 6 go to the GNAC tournament. This will be... Uh, a non-shooting foul that was committed before the timeout, and so they will inbound Will the Yellow Jackets and Jalen Tott. Let's see here. Did they start the shot clock? That may have been the reason for the whistle. The shot clock is at 8. And uh, they had reset it. No, the shot clock is now at 16. So it was at 20. They didn't start it. Four seconds went off the clock, and so it's now at 16. And now we're ready to go here. Jalen Tott, Richmond for left hand, taking the three, and he drains it. Famous left hand with the three from the right wing. And he has the Yellow Jackets in front, 10 to seven. Montana State Billings, a couple of uh, very talented Native American players on both the men's and women's teams as Kyle Lutonen knocks down a three in response and we're tied at 10. But uh, the Yellow Jackets women's team with uh, Cola Bad Bear leading the way for them. A dunk attempt there by Richmond and he can't land it as uh, he, he uh, got up there and drew the foul. And that's the second foul on Kyle Luton. And Luton and subbed in for Trace Evans. And now the uh, Falcons going to get three players into the game at the next, uh, after the first free throw here. We're tied at 10s around Richmond at the free throw line. As he was trying to throw one down there. And he gets the first free throw. Richmond on the season, averaging 12.7 points a game, 85% at the free throw line. Speaking of famous left hand, he's a 1,000%. A, a or, um, yeah, 100%. <laughs> should say he's, he's, he's uh, shooting a 1,000 at the free throw line as uh, Richmond makes one out of two here. Left hand, 18 out of 18 on the season. And this is Theo McMillan able to keep it alive. Get it to Shaw Anderson for a three. As 
Jalen Tott almost had a steal there on McMillan, and McMillan was able to get it back and get it to Anderson for a three. Here's Moody the other way, and Moody knocks down a three. And Daniel Moody already nine points in this one. Four buckets made already for Daniel Moody. Kobe Elsner in, and he is one of the uh, seniors that was honored pregame. Jonas Latour out there as well, and Theo McMillan as the Falcons with some early foul trouble as uh, both Trace Evans and Kyle Luton in each with two already. Shot Anderson making moves and couldn't get the shot to go. Luton is still out there with two fouls. 14-13 Yellow Jackets. Left hand in the right corner. And now Richmond goes up and Kobe Elsner wanted a held ball call but they're going to get him with a foul. As Elsner, senior out of Linden, Washington. Honored pregame. The other SPU player that was honored pregame was DJ, is uh, DJ Clark uh, out of Burlington, Washington. And we'll see if they get him in. He's, he's uh, kind of rarely used by SPU. Jawan Tot will check in for famous left hand here for the Yellow Jackets. And so both Tot twins on the floor. Jalen Tot, the GNAC player of the week for the first time. And both uh, free throws go down for Richmond. As uh, Emmanuel Ajanaku ch uh, checks in. Yellow Jackets have a lot of transfers and some international players. Ajanaku out of Lagos, Nigeria. They have a couple of players that are not here as uh, McMillan gets fouled by Richardson. But uh, they have a player from Stockholm, Sweden. They have a player from uh, Abidjan Ivory Coast as well on the roster. Yellow Jackets by three. Falcons with the ball, and they're going to call Jawan Tot for a foul on McMillan. That's uh, just the second team foul on the Yellow Jackets here in the first half. 13.45 to go. Falcons have committed five team fouls. As Evans has two, Lutonen has two, and uh, Elsner has one. Shaw Anderson with a step back over Ajanaku, and that one's off the back iron. No good. Lutonen had the ball knocked away, but it comes out to Elsner, and the Falcons maintain possession. A three up on the way, and Elsner will pull it down and get it back out to Anderson. Elsner was not even really thinking about going back up with it. Lutonen knocks down the three, and we're tied at 16. As Kyle Lutonen, a couple of threes here in the first half, and you see why Kefri Fazio is leaving him out there with two fouls. Here's Moody. And Moody scoops it up and in off the glass. Daniel Moody having a great first half here. Seven minutes into the game. And he's got 11 points. And Moody will head to the free throw line. As uh, Bryce Whitaker will check in here for Jalen Tott. Whitaker out of Los Angeles, California. He played a couple of years at the University of San Francisco. They're in the West Coast Conference. There's a San Francisco State in Division II, but the University of San Francisco, Division I, as the free throw is missed by Moody, but he has 11 points already here in the early going. Falcons with the rebound coming the other way. Here's Latour trying to maintain control. Shot goes up from Luton in from the corner, and it's, he misses it. And the Yellow Jackets back the other way. Richardson being guarded by Elsner. He'll kick it out to Moody. And now Whitaker with it. Luton in on him, and now Anderson will switch. Moody going up over McMillan. Couldn't get the shot to go. Ajanaku there with the offensive rebound. And here is Jawan Tott. Missing on the shot. Moody comes over the top of McMillan. And uh, he thought he had a clean rebound. He just kind of came over 
McMillan and took it away from him and with Moody on that one that that did not look like a foul but maybe a little bit of contact with Theo McMillan just enough to uh, where the officials blew the whistle here's McMillan into the front court Falcons with the, the opportunity to tie or take the lead on this possession shot Anderson charges down the lane and draws the foul and this will okay I was thinking that this was taking us to a timeout here as uh, Kefri Fazio asking for his team to come over quickly for a word. The uh, other four on the floor besides Shaw Anderson, Elsner, Latour, Luton, and N. McMillan. And Anderson knocks down the first free throw. Shaw Anderson. A 90% free throw shooter, and he has gotten to the line 151 times coming into the game. Puts in both here. Anderson, as we've mentioned before, had a 16-for-16 uh, 16 16 free throw shooting day against Cal, Cal State San Marcos back in December. Breaking a record for uh, free throws, free throw percentage and free throws made, I believe as uh, Rich, Richmond will come down with the rebound and draw the foul, and this is going to go on Anderson. This will take us to a timeout on the floor. Yellow Jackets already in the bonus. 18-18 your score, 11.45 to go first half. We'll be right back on the SPU webcast. Back inside Royal Brown Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. 18-18 your score. Shaw Anderson with 7 points in the early going for SPU. Daniel Moody with 11 for the Yellow Jackets. As both teams shooting 6 out of 11 from the floor. 55% both teams, actually I'm sorry, SPU has knocked down 4 threes. The Yellow Jackets have knocked down 2. Yellow Jackets already have gone to the free throw line seven times, and here are a couple of more coming up for Zaron Richmond. As uh, Yellow Jack is so far four out of seven from the line, now five out of eight. Falcons just two out of two at the free throw line. And uh, not a lot of rebounds or turnovers yet in this one. Falcons have out-rebounded the Yellow Jack at six to five. Richmond puts in both free throws and gives the Yellow Jackets a 20 to 18 lead. Yellow Jackets trying to clinch the GNAC regular season title. Falcons trying to uh, maintain their their edge on the or their uh, spot in the uh, sixth place in the GNAC uh, standings as Trace Evans draws a foul and he'll get to the free throw line. And let's see who they're calling that one on. They're calling that on Ajanaku, and that is his second. And Trace Evans will head back to the free throw line. Trace Evans, a few weeks ago, cut off a lot of his hair. As uh, Moody checks back in and Anderson uh, back in for the Yellow Jackets and the Falcons, respectively. Famous left hand back out there on the floor as Evans misses both free throws. And that is not his strong suit. But Evans kind of had the uh, mini mullet going and now uh, the buzz cut. 
As this is Jawan Tott. Richmond with the turnaround jumper over Evans, and he misses it. Evans with the rebound. Now we Z back out there for SPU as well. And he'll move it across midcourt. That one kicked. And, uh, there's a fan there that's always in that same spot. And she kind of jumped, thinking that the ball was coming at her a little harder than it was. But it'll be uh, Falcons basketball. 20 to 18, Yellow Jackets by two. And Jaden Pentagar to inbound to Maui Z. Z in the high post for Evans. Pentagar now at the top of the key. We'll get it to Z. Z behind the back for Anderson. Anderson being guarded by Moody, and he dribbled it right to Jawan Tot, trying to go around Moody. Didn't see Tot there. And now here's Jalen Tot kicking it to his twin brother, Jawan, in the corner. That three is off the mark, but the Yellow Jackets, an offensive rebound. Here's Richmond kicking it to Moody. And he thought about it, but steps inside. Now out to Richmond. Richmond will get it to Jawan Tot for another three, and this time he knocks it down. Jawan Tot, a couple of three-point attempts, got the second one. And his first three of the ball game has the Yellow Jackets in front by five. Anderson is fouled by Moody. And Moody not agreeing with that call. I think he did get a piece of Anderson there. And they get him for his second foul. Lutonen will come back in for Evans. And Falcons with possession, 9.59 to play first half. Falcons down five. Anderson gets it to Z. Z going to take a long three. And it's all net. Maui Z saw that he had some space there and puts up the three and puts it in. His first three of the ball game. 23-21. A lot of threes made by both teams here. Moody gets it to left hand. He... Steps back and knocks down a three. Famous left hand with the right hand. Knocking down the three. And left hand's got a couple of threes here in the early going. 26-21 Yellow Jackets. And Z almost lost that one, but Pentagar is able to collect it. And now Richardson jumps in front of Anderson. And comes up with the steal and takes it all the way to the bucket and lays it up and in. Steven Richardson out of Sacramento, California. His first two points of the game. And the Yellow Jackets with a seven-point lead. Falcons trying to maintain contact with Billings here. Anderson down the lane, fights through contact and puts it up and in. And Anderson with nine points in the early going. Anderson just stays on his season average. He is going to break the all-time scoring record here at SPU. Falcons with their final home game here. They Both of these teams will be on the road in Alaska to close out the season. And, of course, if the Falcons are able to make it into the GNAC tournament, those uh, stats count toward career stats as well. So Ron Richard, uh, Richmond going back to the line again. 8.30 to go here in the first half. And Zaron Richmond has been to the free throw line a few times here in this one. And this free throw is good. Richmond already 7 out of 9 from the line here in the first half. And all his points have come at the free throw line. And he puts up the second one and gets it to go as well. Ron Richmond, 85% at the line coming in, and he is uh, the uh, yellow jacket that gets to the free throw line most often. He's attempted as Moriarty gets underneath and puts it up and in. And Moriarty with five points now for the, for the Falcons. But Richmond came into this game having attempted 106 free throws on the season, and he's already attempted 10 in this one. 
as we are at the eight minute mark here and uh, they call a foul on Shaw Anderson. That's gonna be his second. And so the Falcons in some foul trouble here in the first half. They've already committed nine team fouls, and uh, several of them have two each. That'll take us to a timeout on the floor, 30-25. to 25, Yellow Jackets lead the Falcons. We'll be back in just a moment on the SPU webcast. Student-athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student-athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student-athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after-school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. than using your head. Being a champion takes the spirit to always push harder, the ability to overcome any hurdle, and the fire to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you? Back inside Royal Brown Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. 30-25, to 25, Yellow Jackets lead the Falcons. And Zaron Richmond at the free throw line again. And this uh, will be another one and one here. Richmond has already attempted 10 free throws in this game. And now 11 as uh, Yellow Jackets winning this one at the free throw line. Eight of, of nine, 9 out of 12 now for the game. Falcons just two out of four. And that's really the big uh, stat difference so far in this one. Both teams shooting the ball over 50%. Falcons actually at 64% from the floor and 63% beyond the arc. So the Falcons have shot the ball well. Yellow Jackets have gotten to the free throw line several times though. 32-25. As Richmond knocks down another couple of free throws. Here is Latour for a three from the top of the key. And he drains it. And Jonas Latour, his first three of the ball game, gets the Falcons back within four. Here's left hand in the post for Richmond. Richmond backing down Anderson. Richmond turns around and puts up the shot off the mark. Did not draw a foul that time. Here is Moriarty in the corner. The three going up from Lutonen and missing. The rebound comes down to Steven Richardson. Yellow Jackets the other way. Richardson drops it off for a left hand. And now Jalen Tott over to his brother Juwan. The Tott brothers out of Dallas, Texas. Here's left hand driving, kicking back to Jawan Tott for a three, and that one goes down. The Jackets lead by seven. 35 28. Jawan Tott, a couple of threes. He's got six points in the ballgame. Jalen Tott still scoreless in this one. Latour, a deep three, and that one goes down. Jonas Latour, back to back threes. And we get a timeout called here by the Yellow Jackets. Luke Fennelly taking a timeout. As both of these teams shooting the lights out here in the first half. 35-31 Yellow Jackets with 6.27 to go here in the first half. This will be a 30-second timeout, and we'll keep it here. Updated shooting percentages here. Falcons 65% from the floor, 64% beyond the arc. The Yellow Jackets 56% from the floor, 63% beyond the arc. And the Yellow Jackets 10 out of 13 at the free throw line. Falcons just 2 out of 4. Not a lot of rebounds in this game because so many shots have been made. 8 to 8 in rebounds. Each team with 8. And uh, not a ton of turnovers. Falcons have turned it over 4 times. The Yellow Jackets just once. 35-31. Billings with the lead. 
And Jawan Tat will get it across midcourt. Ajanaku will get it to left hand. He'll use a screen from Ajanaku. And now he's going to take another three. That one is short. Luton then tapped it out, but the Yellow Jackets keep it. As here's Joan Tott. Richardson going around Latour. Puts it up over him and puts it in. Good move to his left from Richardson there. He's got four points in the ballgame. Six-point lead for Montana State Billings. And Anderson had that one go through his hands. But now he gets it back. Anderson to the bucket, lays it up and in. Shielding the ball there from contact, and he's got 11 here in the first half. Matching Daniel Moody, who has 11. Zaron Richmond with 10, all from the free throw line. Here is Ajanaku, and a little too strong on the hook shot there. Couldn't get it to go. Falcons down four with the ball. Anderson trying to take uh, Juwan Tott to the bucket, but Richardson gets in there and helps out and comes up with a steal. Here's left hand. And he tried to get it back out, and Moriarty, I think they're going to say it touched him last. It'll be Yellow Jackets' ball. Kefri Fazio was thinking... Moriarty, uh, he didn't have he didn't have a clean look at it. I don't think from his vantage point, it was clearly off of Moriarty out of bounds. And Anderson will come out, Luton in, in, Evans in as well. Yellow Jackets by four, and McMillan steals the pass from left hand. Nice pass from McMillan to Luton in, and he throws it down with the right hand. McMillan saw Luton in all the way coming down the lane and dropped it off for him at the perfect time. 37-35, Yellow Jackets. As Jalen Tott gets it out on top to Ajanaku. Here's Jawan to Jalen. And Jalen lost that one momentarily. They get it back, six on the shot clock. Jalen Tott coming down the lane, puts in the floater as he beats the shot clock. And Jalen Tott, his first two points of the game. 39-35, Yellow Jackets by four. Good offensive showdown here in this one. Here's Evans backing down. Richardson gets the bucket, couldn't get the shot to go though. Ajanaku with the rebound. And the Yellow Jackets the other way. Richardson driving. Backing down Latour. Puts up the floater and too strong on that one. Put it over the rim on the other side. And now the Falcons back the other way. Evans for Lutonen. Lutonen finds Evans going to the bucket. He lays it up and in with the left hand. And an assist there for Lutonen. 39-37. Falcons within two. Still over three minutes to play here in the first half. If these teams continue at this pace, we may see this one end up in the 90s. Here's Jalen Tott. To Steven Richardson for three to beat the shot clock. Couldn't get it to go. And the Falcons with the rebound, they have the opportunity to tie or take the lead on this possession. Owen Moriarty slowing things down, being guarded by Jawan Tott. Gets a screen from Lutonen. And now Moriarty going to take a three from the top of the key, and that one's too strong. Rebound to Ajanaku. Here's Jalen Tott the other way. 2.30 to go first half. Jalen Tott being guarded by McMillan, and now gets it to Ajanaku. He's looking for somewhere to go with it. Throws it into the Falcons bench. As he thought he had someone coming to get it. But uh, miscommunication there. Both the, the Yellow Jackets had left hand and Richardson kind of both in the same spot. And Ajanaku was expecting someone to come get it. But that'll take us to a timeout on the floor. 2.22 to go first half. Montana State Billings by two. We'll be right back in just a moment.
That's because Division II student-athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student-athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. And since the very first day, our division has shaped generations of student athletes with a true sense of academics, athletics, and community. That is five decades of graduations, championships, teamwork, and personal development. 50 years of shaping student athletes into world-class leaders. NCAA Division II, our division, our legacy. Back to action here inside Royal Brown Pavilion. Greg Sexton with you on the SB webcast. Yellow Jackets lead by two, 39-37. And it'll be Falcons ball. And then again, another opportunity to tie or take the lead here for SPU. As Latour will hand off to McMillan, now to Anderson. Anderson in the post for Evans. Get it, he'll get it to Anderson in the corner for a three, and that one's off the mark. Rebound to Richardson. Yellow Jackets the other way with under two minutes to play here in the first half. Richmond will get it to Jalen Tott, and now Moody with it. Moody scoops it up off the glass with the right hand. Daniel Moody with 13 points in the ballgame. And here's McMillan, and they're going to get Jalen Tott for a foul. As McMillan went down to a knee there with Tot kind of riding him there. And uh, Tot disagreeing with the call. As uh, McMillan just kind of lost his balance there a little bit, but I think it was influenced a, a bit by Jalen Tot. Evans out Luton and in. And McMillan at the free throw line. Both teams in the bonus. McMillan's free throw is off the back iron. No good. Rebound to Richardson. And the Yellow Jackets the other way. There's a front end of a one and one, and McMillan missed it. Jalen top blocked from behind by Lutonen. Lutonen ahead for Moriarty. Stepping through traffic. Lays it up and in. Moriarty got through a couple of defenders. Lutonen started that play with a block shot on the other end. And the Falcons right back within two. Here's Moody over the top for Richmond, and Richmond is there at the bucket, puts it up and in. Yellow Jackets back up by four. A minute to play here in the first half. Owen Moriarty. And now Theo McMillan with the floater in the lane, puts it in. Theo McMillan had the opportunity there, the space to get that floater up. Here is Jalen Tott the other way with a three. That one's off the mark, but Richmond is there for the offensive rebound. Left hand. Puts, puts up the three, and he's fouled by Moriarty. Left hand missed the three, but he's going to get three free throws. And as I mentioned early in, earlier, in, on, earlier on in the broadcast, I should say, famous left hand has not missed a free throw this year. Not a big sample size. He's 18 out of 18, though. And uh, rare that you see a 100% free throw shooter this late in the year with just two games to go after this one. But uh, he'll have a couple of opportunities at the free throw line here. And the first one is, or actually he's going to have three. First one is good. Making it 44 to 41. Left hand averaging over 10 points per game. Gets the second free throw. Averaging 10.5 to be exact. Juwan Tott will come in for Daniel Moody. And famous left hand. Two for two at the line now. Uh, looking to connect on all three here. 
And he misses his first free throw of the season. Went 20 for 20. And we get a timeout called by the Falcons as Moriarty gets it into the front court. And Kefri Fazio wants a timeout. So, famous left hand missing a free throw for the first time this season. Hit his first 20. And went two out of three on that trip to the line. 30 second timeout here. With the Yellow Jackets now up by four, 45 41. And they've uh, kind of been in that, that range where they have uh, a two or a four point lead for a little while now. Falcons shooting 64% from the floor, 54% beyond the arc. And the Yellow Jackets 50% from the floor, 46% beyond the arc. And both teams have cooled down a little bit. Yellow Jackets 12 out of 16 from the free throw line, and that is built mostly is around Richmond. Falcons 2 out of 5 at the free throw line. Maui Z will take the inbounds pass from Jonas Latour. Falcons with Z, Moriarty, Latour, Lutonen, and Anderson on the floor. As this is likely their last possession of the first half. There's Trying to run the clock down as much as possible. Here's Anderson from the corner. Couldn't get it to go. Gets his own rebound and couldn't get that shot to go either. And the Yellow Jack is back the other way. Three seconds. Here's Jawan Tot. A three on the way and he leaves it short. And that will do it for the first half. Good back and forth action here in the first half. 45-41 Yellow Jackets with a lead at the break. And a lot of uh, made shots from both teams. Both teams shooting it well as uh, Yellow Jackets by four. We'll step aside on the SPU webcast for a few minutes. We'll come back with a recap of the first half, and then we will take a look around the GNAC a little bit later in the halftime break. 45-41, Yellow Jackets at the break.
Back inside Royal Brown Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. Falcons trailing the Yellow Jackets by four at halftime, 45-41. Yellow Jackets uh, shot 48% in the first half. The Falcons shot 59%. And uh, Falcons hitting a lot of shots in this one. Uh, 7 of 13 beyond the arc, 54% out there. Yellow Jackets 5 out of 12 for a 42% clip. But the uh, the Yellow Jackets really uh, created their lead at the free throw line. As they've gotten to the line 16 times, the Falcons have only gotten to the line 5 times. Yellow Jackets 12 out of 16. And uh, the Falcons 2 out of 5. Uh, so they have only been to the free throw line 5 times and only hit 2 of them. As uh, Zeron Richmond, the majority of the uh, free throws in that first half for the Yellow Jackets... Uh, Yellow Jackets out rebound the Falcons 16 to 14 in that first half, and a pretty cleanly played ball game. Both teams with uh, a, a really good assist to turnover ratio. The, the Falcons with nine assists to five turnovers, and the Yellow Jackets six assists to three turnovers, and uh, some offensive boards leading to 12 second chance points for the Yellow Jackets, just three for the Falcons. As uh, we take a look at the offensive rebounds, the Yellow Jackets with six of them in the first half and the Falcons with three. Individually, Daniel Moody got off to a scorching hot start as he has 13 points at the break, a rebound, two assists, and a steal. And he went six for seven in that first half, one of one from three-point range, missed a free throw. As they get... Uh, 12 points from Zaron Richmond. He was 10 of 12 at the free throw line. He had, he was one of three from the field and had four points and two assists as well. Eight points for a uh, famous left hand, two out of, or two, two threes, and then um, two out of three at the free throw line. Jalen, or Juwan Tot actually was six. Jalen Tot just two points in this one so far. Falcons getting. 11 from Shaw Anderson, 4 rebounds, 5 assists for him. And uh, 4 out of 9 from the floor, 2 out of 2 at the free throw line for Anderson. 7 points, uh, make it 8 points for Kyle Lutonen with 4 rebounds. And Lutonen, uh 2 out of 4 from beyond the arc, 3 out of 5 overall from the floor. 7 points for Owen Moriarty. And 6 from Jonas Latour on a couple of threes. It adds up to a 45-41 Yellow Jackets lead at the break. We'll step aside again here on the SP webcast. And when we come back, we will take a look around the GNAC. Things winding down here uh, after today. Uh, well, they, they will... Um, there's just one more week of games in uh, the GNAC before the uh, GNAC tournament gets started in Ellensburg the second weekend of March. But uh, we will... See what's going on around the conference when we come back in just a moment on the SPU webcast. Back inside Royal Brome Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SP webcast, 45-41. Yellow Jackets lead it at halftime. This is the first game of the day. As uh, coming up later on, Alaska Anchorage will be at Western Oregon. Central Washington going to be at Western Washington, and the Falcons are uh, rooting for Central Washington there. Uh, Western Washington is a half game behind Seattle Pacific. Western Washington currently in seventh in the GNAC standings. And uh, Northwest Nazarene going to be up north of the border taking on Simon Fraser tonight. 
and Alaska Fairbanks will uh, wrap up the day's action at 7.30 at St. Martin's. And the Falcons uh, rooting for St. Martin's in that one, as Alaska Fairbanks is just a game behind SPU. Uh, Falcons coming in 7-8 and eight in conference play, 6-9. and nine, um, I'm sorry, Alaska Fairbanks is 6-9. and nine. They're in 8th. Just a game behind, and the uh, the uh, Western Washington Vikings at seven and nine in conference play. Uh, Western Washington just plays once next week. They will play Simon Fraser, and uh, so the Falcons, if they were to win this one and Western Washington was to lose, I I think that they would um, they would be up a game and a half at that point. Um, Seattle Pacific still with two games to go next week at both of the Alaska schools and uh, Western Washington, though, just one game next week. And that one is going to be uh, taking on Simon Fraser as um, that game will be played in Burnaby, British Columbia. So Simon Fraser home for the rest of the season now. But um, the uh, the standings as they sit right now, Billings at 13-2, and two leading the conference, and they have the opportunity to clinch the GNAC regular season title with a win today. St. Martin's and Northwest Nazarene tied 10-5 and five, um, in conference play. St. Martin's 20-5 and five overall. They're ranked. They were. Uh, I believe they still are. But uh, St. Martin's, with a loss to Anchorage on Thursday, and... Uh, they lost to Billings last Saturday, so St. Martin's has lost their last two after a win here on um, the uh, 15th, Thursday the 15th. They uh, lost to Billings and then to Alaska Anchorage. Central Washington 9-6 and six in the conference, and they're hosting the GNAC tournament this year. They uh, are not; They have not clinched a spot yet, but they will most likely be in as they would uh, have have to have a lot of things go wrong for them to, to miss out. Anchorage is at 8-7. and seven. They're in 5th in the conference. And Seattle Pacific at 7-8 and eight in 6th. So, theoretically, the Falcons really could still catch Anchorage. Uh, they do play them in, in uh, Alaska next week. Uh, that'll be the Thursday game. Uh, they'll, they'll play at Anchorage on Thursday. They'll play at Fairbanks on Saturday in Montana State Billings will uh, play at Fairbanks first on Thursday and then at Anchorage to close out their season. But um, Seattle Pacific could could theoretically catch them. Uh, technically, they, they still catch Central Washington, but um, really I think they're concerned with, with uh, the teams right behind them, Western Washington, a, game, a half game back, I should say, and the uh, Fairbanks Nanooks are, are just a game behind. The Alaska Fairbanks Nanooks, uh, just a game behind SPU. And they defeated SPU here on their home floor back on November 30th. The way the uh, GNAC schedule is set up typically is the teams that uh, you open the season against, you close the season against. So um, it, it's, it's a long time between meetings with the Alaska schools as... Uh, they will see the Alaska schools again on the road next week. Falcons lost to Fairbanks here on the uh, in, in their their GNAC opening game, but then they beat the Anchorage SeaWolves um, a couple of days later. Falcons now seven and eight, trying to get into the tournament, and we'll have a similar story with the women uh, coming up at 4:15. They are in sixth as well, trying to get into the GNAC tournament. So. Uh, we'll we'll kind of break that down when we um, see the women play later on. But uh, both of these teams very much alive for a spot in the GNAC tournament. As uh, we are getting ready to start the second half here in just a moment, let's take a, a quick break and be back with you uh, in in just a, a a little bit on the SP webcast.
Back inside Royal Grown Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you. Again, a battle of first-year head coaches here. Former assistants on their respective squads as Luke Fennelly leading the way now for the Yellow Jackets and Kefri Fazio for Seattle Pacific. As uh, Fazio still with the interim head coach tag and we'll see uh, whether that, that uh, interim tag gets removed here in the coming uh, weeks. Um, you don't typically see an interim head coach for more than a season. But uh, Fazio has, has uh, gotten the Falcons with uh, a chance here at the GNAC tournament. They're 14 and 14 overall. Luke Finley's had a great year in his first season at the helm of the Billings program, 19 and 6 overall, 13 and 2 in conference. And the Falcons start the second half with possession. Original starting five out there. Shot Anderson comes up short on that one. And a little bit of contact there, but after the shot was released. And uh, not enough for a foul. Billings with it the other way. Here's Richardson being guarded by Pentagar. And now he gets it to left hand. Left hand in the, paint, in, the, in the paint to Moody. Moody tried to get it to Richmond, and Richmond lost it out of bounds. As the Falcons will take it back the other way. Forty-five, forty-one, Yellow Jackets. Falcons trying to get back within a possession here. It's been a good game. Here's Maui Zia, three on the way, and that one rims out. Rebound chase down out of bounds. And they're going to say Moody touched it last. And the Falcons will keep it. Trey Sevens and Daniel Moody went chasing it down on the sideline. And uh, looked like they both may have touched it. But they say that Moody touched it last, and I believe that was the correct call. Pentagar tried to get it to Evans, and Evans was uh, going the other way. And the Falcons turn it over. Here's Richardson to the bucket, and he draws the foul. And Trace Evans is going to be called for his third foul. He picked up two quick ones early in the first half. Steven Richardson will head to the free throw line. Richardson averaging seven points a game coming in. Just 39% from the free throw line. Not his strong suit, but he puts that one in. Richardson... 47% from the floor, 38% from three-point range, and just 39% from the, the free throw line. Has a pretty good-looking free throw stroke there on those two. And you wouldn't know he was a 39% free throw shooter just from those two shots there. As uh, Richardson knocking down his first two free throws of the game, and it's a six-point lead for the Yellow Jackets. Evans to Moriarty in the corner. Moriarty drives, feeds it down low to Evans, and he reverses it up and in. Got baseline there, Evans did, and uh, was able to get to the other side of the glass, or the other side of the rim, I should say. Jalen Tott loses it. Here's Moriarty back the other way. Moriarty driving, spinning, and able to dish it off to Evans, and Evans is there for another lay-in. Back-to-back buckets by Evans, and Moriarty with the assist on that one. And I believe he had the assist on uh, both of the last two Evans buckets. Trey seven six points in the ball game. Here's Richmond, and Evans knocks it away, and it's out of bounds off of the Falcons. The Yellow Jackets will take it back. Kyle Lutonen will come in here, and he'll come in for Pentagar. As... Uh, Luton in with eight in the first half. A couple of threes. Here's Jalen Tott. Gets it to a famous left hand. The turnaround jumper at the free throw line is good. And left hand with ten points in the ball game. Now he's Z the other way. Z whips it back out to Anderson. Anderson, Luton in, Evans. Evans feeding it through to Moriarty, and he draws the foul. 
Jalen Tott going to be called for the foul, disagreeing with the call. Or actually, he's having a conversation with his teammate there, famous left hand. And Owen Moriarty to the free throw line. I thought that uh, Jalen Tott was saying something to the official, but I think he was just talking to his teammate as they were not on the same page there. Moriarty gets to the free throw line and puts in the first one. On the season, Owen Moriarty averaging 10.6 points per game and shooting 78% at the stripe and knocks down both free throws here. 49-47. Yellow Jackets by two. Moody to left hand, and he puts it up right away off the front rim, though. And Evans with the rebound. Falcons back the other way. Falcons, an, op an opportunity to tie or take the lead. Here's Evans kicking it to Lutonen in the corner. Now back out to Maui Z. Z looking for somewhere to go. Had it knocked away, gets it back. He'll get into the right corner. He was thinking about putting up the shot. Gets it in the post to Evans. Evans turns around, puts it up and in. As he backed down Richardson a little bit there and was able to create some space for himself. Evans with six, six points here in the second half, eight for the game. And we're tied at 49. Here is around Richmond, a three off the back iron. Left hand, the rebound. And the Billings Yellow Jackets keeping it alive. Left hand with the right hand. Couldn't get it to go. As he uh, had the right-handed scoop shot there sitting up on top of the rim, and it rolls off. And the Falcons back the other way. Now the Falcons an opportunity to take the lead. Falcons haven't led in a while. Maui Z driving on Jalen Tott, puts it up and in. And the Falcons have the lead, 51-49. to Maui Z with five points in the ball game. And here's Jalen Tott the other way. Tott for Moody. Moody drives, puts it up over Evans, and Daniel Moody scores. And it's a 51-51 tie. Moody with 15. Moody had 11 in the first few minutes of the game. Has 15 now for the ball game. Moriarty to Z. 15 and a half to go. And now back to Moriarty. Finds Anderson and he loses it, but Evans is there to clean it up. Z, a three on the way. That's off the back iron. No good. Lutonen tried to get in there, but Moody ends up with it. And the Yellow Jackets back the other way. 51-51. We're tied. Just over 15 minutes to play. Here's Moody. Kicks it out for Richmond. A three on the way. Off the front iron. No good. Rebound Maui Z. And Z will move it into the front court. Evans to Luton in a quick three on the way. Nothing but net for Kyle Luton in. Luton in a graduate student, a transfer from the University of Washington, did not take uh, part in the Senior Day festivities before this game. He actually has a year left. So he's a graduate student, but uh, another year of eligibility remaining for him. 54-51 as Richmond gets underneath. Couldn't get the shot to go. Now he's able to reverse it up and in. And Zaron Richmond with 14 points. 10 of those at the free throw line. And he's got a couple of uh, made field goals from the floor as well. Falcons with a one-point lead and the ball. Z to Anderson for a three. And that one goes down for Shaw Anderson. 57-53, Falcons with the lead. Trying to knock off the Yellow Jackets here on their home floor on senior day. Moody drives on Anderson, spins. Z almost got a hand in there. Z now guarding Jalen Tott. Here's Richmond. Richmond, some contact with Evans. Richmond goes, goes off the glass for two. And it's 57-55. Richmond with 16 points in the ballgame. We still have not had the under-16 timeout yet. And we're down to 13.20 to go. Moriarty a three on the way. Good! Owen Moriarty puts the Falcons at 60 points. It's 60-55. to 55. And 
Now we get a whistle. And uh, let's see here. I think maybe uh, Luke Finley called a timeout. Or the officials did. It's a five point game as uh, the Falcons lead the Yellow Jackets 60 to 55, 1308 to play here. And we will step aside here on the SPU webcast. We'll be back in just a moment. Back inside Royal Brougham Pavilion in Seattle, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. Falcons lead by 5, 60 to 55. And the Yellow Jackets with Daniel Moody getting, getting ready to inbound. Famous left hand with it, being guarded by Moriarty. And now here is Moody going around Latour. Puts it up over him, puts it in off the glass. Daniel Moody with 17 points in the ballgame. Three-point lead for SPU. Theo McMillan back out there. Gets it into the post to Shaw Anderson, being guarded by Richmond. Now Lutonen with it. And Lutonen is going to create some contact with Steven Richardson, and Richardson is whistled for a foul. I believe, actually, the... Uh, Yellow Jack has called a timeout. This will be the media timeout here with 12.36 remaining in the ballgame. And it is 60-57, to 57, Falcons with the lead. So we will step aside again here on the SP webcast and be back with you in just a moment. Back inside Royal Brown Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. And uh, Falcons with a three-point lead and the ball. Trying to uh, correct a technical issue here with the live stats as uh, they, are, they keep resetting to uh, what they were at halftime. As uh, Anderson will get it to McMillan. And now Latour back to Shaw Anderson. Anderson with the step back jumper, and that one rims out. Rebound, though, pulled down by Theo McMillan. Gets it back out to Anderson for a three. That one misses, and Moody with the rebound. And the Yellow Jackets down three with possession. Daniel Moody will get it to Juwan Tott. And now Anderson comes over the top of Richmond, and Anderson's going to get called for a foul. And uh, a little displeasure from the SBU crowd here. 
pretty good crowd on hand here today. The volleyball team from SPU is in attendance. The majority of, well, several of them, let's say half. Uh, a lot of people out on senior day. As we get to another timeout on the floor, 11.57 to go in the ball game. Falcons lead it 60-57. to We'll be right back. Back inside Royal Brown Pavilion, 11.57 to go in the ballgame, 60-57, and a few timeouts recently as um, they had the under-16 timeout pretty late. Actually, uh, Billings called a timeout, then there was the under-16 timeout, now the under-12 timeout. And now we'll see if we can get a few minutes of action in here as Richardson has it knocked away, and they're going to get a foul. Let's see who they call on that one. It's going to go on Owen Moriarty. That'll be his third. Moriarty with 12 points in the ball game. And now three fouls. Richmond in the post for Moody. And we get another whistle. And they're going to call Jonas Latour for a foul. Jalen Tott will come get famous left hand. And uh, Billings will inbound it again. Here is Richmond for Richardson. And now Jawan Tott. They get it down low for Richmond. He goes around looting it and puts it in. And Zaron Richmond with 18 points in the ballgame. Leading all scorers. As he uh, passes Daniel Moody, McMillan trying to enter that in the post to Anderson, but uh, Jawan Tott kicks it out of bounds. McMillan will get it to Anderson now. And now back to McMillan. He'll drive. He'll kick it out to Moriarty. A three from the right wing, and Owen Moriarty knocks it down. And he's got 15 in the ball game. It's a 63-59 Falcons lead. The Falcons have shot the lights out from three-point land today. Here's Richmond. Getting in to, the, uh, to about a 12-foot out uh, area there and misses on the shot. And the Falcons with the rebound and a four-point lead. This would be a big win for the Falcons. They they Actually, they're, they're coming off a win over Western Oregon, but they had St. Martin's here. And they had an opportunity to win that one. Moriarty for Latour for an open three from the right wing. And Mori or, uh, Latour rather knocks it down. And the Falcons keep getting open threes and keep knocking them down. 66-59, Falcons with their largest lead of the day. Jawan Tott across midcourt. He'll get it to Richmond. And Richmond now will hand off to Jalen Tott. Tott is fouled. They're going to get Moriarty for his fourth. And so... Owen Moriarty most likely is going to be coming out of the ball game. As he'll stay out there for the moment. Emmanuel Janaku in for the Yellow Jackets. Ball comes into Zaron Richmond. And he has a ripped away. McMillan ends up with it. And here come the Falcons. McMillan for Moriarty. Thought about it. Gets it to Anderson instead. Maui Z sitting on 
the uh, floor at the scorer's table, getting ready to check in. Anderson, a three on the way and good. And the Falcons lead it by 10 with 9.49 to play. 69-59, SPU is raining down threes. And they lead it by 10. Timeout Billings. And we will step aside on the SPU webcast and be back in just a moment. 69-59, SPU in front. Student athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. Back inside Royal Brougham Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. Falcons lead by 10 as they've outscored the Yellow Jackets here so far in the second half, 28-14. to 14. And trying to get a win here on Senior Day. This would be a big win in terms of their uh, chances to get into the GNAC tournament as well. As if they do not hang on here. There's a chance that uh, both Western Washington and Alaska Fairbanks could catch them. Western Washington would have an opportunity to pass them as uh, Jawan Tot knocks down the shot and gets the Yellow Jackets back within eight. Here's Maui Z. Driving and kicking to Latour for another three. Jonas Latour knocks down another one. And the Falcons keep knocking down threes. It's 72 to 61. I would give you an update on how many they have knocked down here, but uh, my live stats are not uh, resetting here. 72 61, though. Falcons with a whole bunch of threes. They had seven in the first half and a boatload more here in the second half as uh, Maui Z gets across midcourt. And I believe we uh, we may be good here now. Falcons now 14 th made threes, make it 15. Jonas Latour, another one. And the, the Yellow Jackets have no answer. No, I'm sorry, Maui Z with the three there. And it's a 75-61 lead. Here is Jalen Tott getting in into traffic there. Ajanaku with the offensive rebound, and he will go to the free throw line. Falcons on a run here. 75-61. Falcons now 15 out of 25 beyond the arc. Eight of those here in the first 12 minutes of the second half. And Emmanuel Ajanaku to the free throw line with the Yellow Jackets now down 14. And Ajanaku's free throw misses. As left hand and Moody will come back in. Elsner and Evans for SPU. Ajanaku, a 66% free throw shooter on the season. Missed the first one, gets one more here. And that one is down. And it's a 13 point lead for SPU. They have just been raining threes here in the second half. Still a lot of time left in this one. But the Falcons have put themselves in a pretty good position. Here's Luton in a three. That one off the back iron, no good. And we get a whistle on the rebound. Trace Evans clapping his hands. They're going to call a foul on Jawan Tott. That'll be his second. 8.02 to go in the ballgame. And the Falcons, a 75-62 lead. Shaw Anderson will come right back for Kyle Lutonen. As the Falcons have shot the ball like their life depends on it today. Elsner in for Z. Maui Z will get it to Latour. He'll get it back to Z. And now Anderson in the post. 
Turnaround jumper, and he puts it in. Shaw Anderson, 19 points in the ballgame. And he's on his way to becoming the all-time leading scorer in SPU history. He would break a record that was set in 1958 by Lauren Anderson. No relation. Here is Ajanaku with the jumper at the free throw line. That one is off the mark. And the Falcons with a 15-point lead. And the ball with under 7.5 to play. Anderson and Z play catch. Anderson gets it back, gets it to Elsner. Elsner double teamed in the corner. Looking for somewhere to go with it. Gets it out to Z. Had Latour open on the other side of the court there, but he's going to give it to Anderson. Anderson is knocked down and will go to the free throw line. And this will be a three shot foul. As Anjanaku commits the foul. 7.04 to go. That'll take us to another timeout on the floor. But Shaw Anderson will be at the free throw line for three shots when we come back on the SPU webcast. More than using your head, being a champion takes the spirit to always push harder, the ability to overcome any hurdle, and the fire to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. 7.04 to play here from inside Royal Grown Pavilion in Seattle. Falcons have outscored the Yellow Jackets 36-17 here in the second half. And they lead it by 15, their largest lead of the game. 77-62 and Shaw Anderson going to the free throw line for three. Shaw Anderson on the season 90% at the stripe. And a shot a boatload of them. As uh, Anderson at the moment, two out of two from the free throw line, seven out of 15 from the floor, and he's got 19 points, four rebounds, and five assists, and knocks down the first free throw here. Western Washington Vikings women's team now into the gym behind the uh, Yellow Jackets in the, the uh, women's team for the Vikings in the front row of the stands. And Anderson knocks down all three free throws and the Falcons have an 18 point lead. Anderson has 22 points in the ball game, eclipsing his season average, 80 to 62. As the Falcons have just overpowered the Yellow, the Yellow Jackets here in the second half. And uh, really, from outside the arc for the most part, as Daniel Moody puts one up and in off the glass. And he's got 19 for Montana State Billings. But they have a big hole to dig out of here in the last six and a half minutes of the game. They're down 16. Elsner will get it to Anderson. He'll get through traffic, and he will draw a foul. And they're going to get this one on Jalen Tott. That'll be his third. As uh, Richmond and Whitaker, we haven't seen a lot of Bryce Whitaker today, but he's out there now, along with Zaron Richmond. And uh, ball comes in to Shaw Anderson. Anderson playing in his final home game here. Anderson has it knocked away and gets it right back. Z will slow things down, but there's five on the shot clock. They, they're not going to blow the whistle, and they're going to reset that shot clock. Or are they? Yeah, they are. Yellow Jackets had it briefly, and Shaw Anderson got it right back. 
Shot clock is now at 26. 6.13 to go in the ball game. And Falcons with Trace Evans tossing that one away to Whitaker. Here is Richmond coming down the lane, gets it out to left hand, and now Moody with it will get to the bucket. He'll put it up and in. Daniel Moody with 21 in the game. And it's 80 to 66 as Maui Z moves it across midcourt. Shaw Anderson back to Z. And he tried to get it down low for Evans, and Evans had that one go a little wide, able to get a hand on it, but uh, not able to come down with it cleanly. And the Yellow Jackets will take it back down 14, still over five and a half to go. Not out of the realm of possibility that the Yellow Jackets could make a big run right back at the Falcons as Lutonen knocks that one out of bounds. It'll stay with Montana State Billings. Moriarty back in for Z. And Moriarty in with four fouls. Moriarty's got 15 points in the game. Richmond for Whitaker. Now Richmond over the top for Moody. Moody puts it up and misses on the shot but gets the foul. And he will be at the free throw line. Foul being called on Theo McMillan. That'll be his first. And Daniel Moody to the free throw line. He's got 21 points in the ball game. And we've seen him shoot it quite well. He is a 79% free throw shooter. And puts in the first. Moody now 22, Anderson 22 for the uh, Falcons as Moody misses on the second free throw. And that was just, uh, actually he missed one earlier. So he's now one out of three at the free throw line. Falcons with the lead by 13. Moriarty spinning and gets to the bucket and lays it up and in with the left hand. And it's a 15-point lead again for SPU with now under five minutes to play. Here is Zeron Richmond, a three on the way, well off the mark. And the Falcons will take it back. They lead by 15. Under 4.45 now to go in the game. Here's McMillan for Anderson. And now McMillan getting to the bucket and sends it back outside, though, for Moriarty. Moriarty to McMillan, right back to Moriarty, lays it up and in. And it's a 17-point lead for SPU. 84-67. And now Moriarty gets a hand in there, knocks it out of bounds. Steven Richardson will come back in for the Yellow Jackets. And uh, it'll be left hand to inbound here to Whitaker. Now to Moody. Moody gets into the lane, puts it up and in. Daniel Moody, really good around the glass. And uh, is able to get a shot up from uh, just about anywhere in there. He's got 24 points in the ballgame. Fifteen point lead for SPU. Here's Moriarty. Thought about it. Lutonen will take it instead. Kyle Lutonen drains another three. And Lutonen with 14 points in the ball game. Falcons with 87 points on the board. 87 to 69. They lead it by 18. Richardson for left hand. He's gonna take a three. That one is short. Rebound comes out to Whitaker. Now Moody taking a three from the left corner and he puts it in. And that'll make it a 15-point game. 3.15 to go. And SPU closing in on a win on senior day. Kefri Fazio going to take a timeout with 3.09 to go. And the Falcons with a 15-point lead. And it's been 
a three-point shooting contest for SPU today. We will step aside on the SPU webcast. We'll be back with you in just a moment. And since the very first day, our division has shaped generations of student athletes with a true sense of academics, athletics, and community. That is five decades of graduations, championships, teamwork, and personal development. 50 years of shaping student athletes into world-class leaders. NCAA Division II, our division, our legacy. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. Back inside Royal Brougham Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SP webcast. Falcons lead it over the Yellow Jackets, 87 to 72 on Senior Day. Last home game for SPU as they will play two on the road next weekend in the state of Alaska, and the uh, Yellow Jackets will be up there as well with uh, these teams facing different opponents. Uh, to be the same two opponents, just different nights. As uh, the Falcons will take on Anchorage on Thursday and then Fairbanks on Saturday. And uh, the Yellow Jackets, it'll be the other way around. Falcons, a 15-point lead. And with possession now, Shaw Anderson... Backing down, backing down. Puts up the shot, puts it in. Shot Anderson with 24 now. Daniel Moody, 27 on the other side for the Yellow Jackets, but Anderson closing in on that scoring record here as Whitaker taking a three off the mark, and the rebound ends up in the hands of McMillan. Lutonen was able to fight off a Yellow Jacket player there for that one, but... Uh, McMillan was able to come up with a cleanly. Here's Anderson again. Moriarty back in the post. Anderson will get it to Latour. He'll get to the bucket and draw the foul. And the foul being called on Zaron Richards, uh, uh, Zaron Richmond rather. And Latour will get to the line. First foul on Richmond. Richmond with 18 points in the game. And uh, hit a bunch of free throws in the first half. Hit 10 of them. But has been uh, a little quieter here in the second half. Falcons have just come out and blitzed the Yellow Jackets here in the second half. Latour knocking down the free throw on the Falcons now at 90 points in the ballgame. Ajanaku will come in, as will Moody. And uh, Latour with another free throw coming up here. And he knocks that one in. And the Falcons with, uh, again, their largest lead of the ballgame now, 19. Here's Whitaker for Ajanaku. Falcons have not played well against the Yellow Jackets over the years, but uh, they have been at their best today, particularly in the second half. Moody... Puts up the shot and draws the foul with a minute 56 to go. And Daniel Moody will head to the free throw line. Foul on Jonas Latour. And Moody will head to the strike. Daniel Moody averaging 14 points a game has 27 here in this one. And, uh, Connects on the first free throw. Moody with 28. Shaw Anderson, 24, to lead the way for the Falcons. Owen Moriarty has 19. And Moody's free throw is good. He's got 29. Falcons with possession up 17, under two minutes to play. Here's Moriarty. 
Latour to McMillan, and the Falcons going to run some clock. McMillan to Latour, and never mind on that clock running as Latour had an open three, and he took it, but he missed it. Here's Moody getting to the bucket, puts it up and in off the glass. And Daniel Moody with 31 points in the ballgame. He started hot and has been hot here in the last few minutes as well. 91-76, Falcons still with a comfortable lead here. A minute 10 to go in the ballgame. McMillan underneath will bring it back out. Now Latour. Latour going to scoop it up with the right hand, trying to get it under Ajanaku there, and couldn't get the shot to go. Here's Whitaker and Anderson over the top. They're going to call him for a foul. 56.3 left. And uh, he saw the uh, official there motioning how Anderson committed the foul there. Looked like a little dance move from the, the uh, referee. Moody with a one and one, or is it? They have 16 fouls. I'm sorry, the uh, Falcons have 19 fouls, and it is a one and one for Daniel Moody. He knocks down the first one and knocks down the second as well. Falcons really haven't had an answer for Daniel Moody today. He's got 33, but... Uh, well, I guess the answer has been all their three-point uh, field goals they made. McMillan trying to get it to Anderson. Anderson wasn't looking, and Moody was. And here come the Yellow Jackets. Whitaker, a three on the way, well off the mark. But the uh, they get the offensive rebound. We get a whistle here. And did they call for I'm not sure if they called him for being out of bounds. DJ Clark is going to get into the game. And just the fifth time this year that DJ Clark has appeared in a game. It is senior day. And D uh, DJ Clark, a fan favorite here, going to get some action. The final 34.9 seconds of the ball game. And uh, Falcons will dribble out a lot of this clock here as Moriarty... He's just going to kill some time. Falcons with a 13-point lead. They are going to win over the Montana State Billings Yellow Jackets here on Senior Day. Moriarty going to step back and take a three, and that one is off the mark. Rebound to Ajanaku. And Moody going to drive up the floor, gets it to Richardson. He lays it up and in. 91-80 to going to be your final as uh, the Falcons will dribble out the clock. Falcons win it on Senior Day by 11. 91-80. They had a lead as large as 19 just a moment ago. Yellow Jackets make it look a little more respectable in the end, but the Yellow Jack or the uh, Falcons rather able to come out here in the second half and shoot the lights out, particularly beyond the three-point arc. Falcons put up 50 in the second half to just 35 for the Yellow Jackets, who had a four-point lead at the break. And a great second half for SPU. Taking a look quickly at the team stats as we're going to sign off uh, pretty quickly here and we'll have the women's game coming up at 4.15. They should, that should be uh, started on time as we're uh, just after 3.35 right now. Falcons shoot 62% from the floor. They make 33 shots overall. They made 16 threes. They go 55% beyond the arc, 16 out of 29. That was really the story of the day. Falcons with 16 made threes in the game. They had seven at halftime. They get nine more in the second half. Yellow Jackets 50% from the floor, just 31, uh, make it 32% beyond the arc, six out of 19. And Yellow Jackets, though, got to the line quite a bit more than the Falcons did. 20 out of 26 for Billings, nine out of 12 for SBU. The rebounds, there were not a lot of rebounds because there were so many made shots in this game, but uh, the Yellow Jackets, Yellow Jackets out-rebound the Falcons 26-25. Yellow Jackets got 10 offensive rebounds, but it was not enough as uh, Falcons with 19 assists 
to just 10 turnovers. Yellow Jackets 10 assists to 8 turnovers. Falcons with 30 points off their bench. And uh, they were led today. First of all, let's we'll take a look at uh, Montana State Billings. 33 points from Daniel Moody to go with 4 rebounds and 3 assists and 3 steals. Zoran Richmond, 18 points, 6 rebounds, 10 out of 12 from the free throw line. And 10 points from famous left hand. The uh, Falcons were able to keep Jalen Tott in check. He had two points today. And he is the leading scorer for the Yellow Jackets at 15.8 per ball game. Did not have a good day today. Jawan Tott had eight, but Jalen Tott just two. Steven Richardson had eight and four rebounds. And uh, the Falcons with 24 from Shaw Anderson. He had four rebounds and five assists and a steal. 19 points from Owen Moriarty as uh, Moriarty nailed three threes. Kyle Lutonen with four threes and 14 points for the game. Jonas Latour, four threes and 14 points as well. They get five rebounds, eight, uh, eight points and five rebounds from Trace Evans. And uh, Lutonen chips in five rebounds as well. And the Falcons win it on senior day by a count of 91 to 80. That'll do it for men's basketball this year, their final home game. The uh, women getting ready to tip off here in a bit at 415. And uh, so if you want to uh, stick around for that one, feel free. Women's basketball playing some exciting games lately, and we'll see them coming up shortly. Falcons win it over the, the uh, Montana State Billings Yellow Jackets, 91-80. to 80. And we will uh, talk to you soon for the women's game coming up.